It is the first day of school. You've worked hard to set up and prepare your course for your students. They have entered your room looking fresh in their new school outfits, notebooks and trapper keepers filled with paper, sharp pencils in the pencil case. It's time to get them into your course. In this video, I'm going to explain how I recommend you structure that first day of school when you invite your students to join your class. Now I'm going to show you first the prep work that I've done as the teacher in my class and then I'll walk you through the student uh, perspective what they will do and what they will see. So right now I'm in my course as a teacher. A couple things that I want to do before I uh, invite my students. First of all, I want to find the code for my class and that's this right here. It'll be uh, listed in the um, header for your, um, your course. Now I want you to look at your class code. If your code contains a lot of I's, L's, 1's, zeros, or O's, you may wish to reset it. Otherwise, you are going to be answering the same question over and over again. You know, is that an I or an L or a 1 or a, um, an I? So you cannot pick your code, but you can reset it. So if you go into the settings for your course over here, top right corner, click on the little fidget spinner icon. Um, we're going to go, and here's your class code. Um, I'm not thrilled about this one personally, that J, I think, could give students some issues, especially elementary. And so I'll just click here, um, click on Reset. And you can do that as many times as you need to until you get a code that speaks to you. So that one's not too bad. P C L P E seven. I like that. So I'm going to leave that one there. Um, and that's the code that I'm going to give to my students. Now that's good. Let's look at a couple other things. Second, I have turned off the coursework notifications in the stream. So the only thing that appears in my stream are my announcements. Now again, that's a setting for my class. Well, right here it says classwork on stream. I'm hiding those notifications. I want to separate, and this is personal preference, I separate my announcements and kind of class discussion on the stream, my classwork and assignments on the classwork page. So I've gone ahead and added a little announcement. This is the first thing that students are going to see. So it's really important that you put something very precise and specific. Welcome back and then tells them click classwork at the top of your screen to see. So I always try to include something, throw a picture in there, you know, have fun with that. Let's go to the classwork page. Now I have uh, created a topic up here that says first day of school. Now actually um, what I've done is that this topic used to be called um, class resources. I have just temporarily renamed it for the first day of school so that they know exactly what they're looking for. They can tell that's what they should uh, they should be looking through. So I'll change this back to class resources you know, later in the week. So here's my first day of school, and these are all the different things that we'll be talking about in class today. Now, the instructions that I've given my students are to look for this assignment. So there's a just a simple discussion question, share something fun that you did this summer. Now, the reason that I do this is twofold. Number one, we are going to give out that code, and students are going to join my class by entering the code. In a upper elementary, middle, and high school setting, 90 to 95% of your students are going to be able to do that on their own with no problem. It'll take them 10 seconds. However, there's always, and I don't care how young or old they are, there's always a two or three uh, kids who have trouble for whatever reason, can't remember their password, etc. So you need a um, uh, kind of a, a sponge to um, keep those kids who are in the class busy while you run around and help the, the few kids who need assistance. Um, and so they'll be answering this question. You might want to say, you know, three to four sentences. Uh, you give some specifics if, uh, if you want to. That's the first reason I like to do this um, uh, discussion question. The second reason is I want to spend time this first day explaining my expectations and how to use Google Classroom. So how to how to find the assignment on the classwork page, how to participate in the discussion, how to submit their work. Um, I'll even go through after we're done. I'm going to give them a grade, just give everybody, you know, five points for doing this, uh, return that to them so they can see what that process looks like, confirm where the grade goes. Like I'm going to use this first day to teach students about some of the core features of Google Classroom. It'll be very subtle um, and, you know, we'll have to do this several times for them to, um, uh, to kind of get the hang of it. But ultimately, my long-term goal is that this is my class 
procedure. You come in, you get your Chromebook out, you open it up, you go to the classwork page, and the assignment for the day will be posted there. I don't want to have to say that. I don't have to explain that. That is just the expectation. We're going to start that on the first day of school. So that's what I've got set up here. Let me quickly uh, show you what it will look like for a student. Um, so let me go back to the stream. Now, when my students walk into the room, I actually will push this full screen button right here, and that will make my code much bigger. I can go like that, and then I can even go again and put that full screen. So that will be projected at the front of the room on your, your TV, you know, on your projection screen, however you do that. Um, so that's going to be up. Uh, so let me copy this so I have it. All right, now I'm going to go and pretend that I'm a student. So right now I'm uh, Polly. All they have to do is um, visit classroom.google.com or depending on what device they're on, you open the Google Classroom app. Um, if they're in uh, Drive or Gmail, they can click the Google Waffle and get to Classroom here. They're going to get to this screen and they're going to click the plus button, click join class, and they're simply going to enter the code. That's it. Those uh, six letters and click join. Um, this is very reliable. Occasionally it might throw up an error message or something, but very, very rarely, um, you know, maybe one out of a hundred kids will, will have some issues and this is exactly what they're going to see. So they go in, they see the header. They're going to see my announcement right there. They see my picture. They're going to go to the classwork page and they're going to say, Oh, first day of school. Cool. And this is their first assignment. So they're going to do that. We're going to do that together. And then we'll work through the other links in here. We're going to talk about the syllabus, important links, the free time activities, uh, templates that we'll be using throughout the year. So that's my first day of school uh, procedure. You'll have to modify that depending if you teach uh, um, you know, younger grades. You'll have to do a little more hands-on uh, with them. Older grades, they should be able to do this uh, pretty um, self-sufficiently.